in terms of like the copy feedback and how quickly you are able to implement it and accelerate and improve, there's nothing like it in the marketplace. Hello, everyone, and welcome to an amazing episode of the Client Spotlight series. I have one of my amazing clients, Vicky, here, who's going to be sharing with you the four unexpected shifts that she made in order to create $15,000 clients while she was pregnant, sleeping 15 hour days, and pretty much unplugged. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. How are you? Introduce yourself. Who are you? And then we'll get started. Hi, Juliana. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. I am a feminist time coach and I really work with clients that want to break free from all of these time rules and time norms that keep us overworked, hustling, stressed out and busy, but not producing results that we want. And so I have my signature program, which is Time Hackers. And then I have the 15 hour work week mastermind as well. So good. Everybody go check her out because seriously, her stuff is like top notch. So, okay, let's get started to by taking everybody on a bit of a journey before you started working with me. So where were you at? What inspired you to join the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind? Let's get started there. Yeah, I mean, I'd already made a lot of money. I made a lot of money fast, but I hated marketing. <laughs> like, really? I'm really good at selling. I'm really good at uh, building relationships. And as I was scaling my business mm -hmm. and marketing became more integral, I it was just not something that I enjoyed or wanted to do. And obviously, I think of you as like a marketing expert. So why not put myself in a room with the best, basically? Yeah. Totally. And so tell us a little bit about what was it that you were craving that really had you choose specifically magnetize and monetize or choose me as a coach? What was that the thing that you felt like was different? Because I remember there was something for you that was like, oh, this is kind of what my, what my heart, my heart needs this. Yeah, I think, well, I'd already luckily had the opportunity to get coached by you and experienced mm -hmm. it. And I love your work around like the inner child and the self-care and that compassion. And I mean, I am, I was the ultimate hustler. This is why I do this work. And I was constantly battling with balancing that out. And I never really had built that relationship with myself and that gratitude for what I'd already achieved. Um, right. And that's something that I think you do so well is really building that relationship with ourselves and that appreciation for everything that we've done and what we've created right now and really loving ourselves through the process. Yeah, that was a huge thing. Awesome. Okay. And so once you join the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind, you were yes, you paid in full. You were, you were like, yes, let's go. So the first shift, the first thing that happened was within the first 24 hours, or was it 48 hours, something like that, you made your money back. And so tell us a little bit about what happened and what do you think that was such an instant result for you? Yeah, so I made my money back within the 24, 48 hours and, and, and even more. That's right. Um, and I think, I mean, I tend to see this with everyone and you've probably seen this before. Like when we commit to our future over where we are going now, when we commit to our goals, to our dreams, like that shift happens. That's the first shift I think is always when we invest in ourselves. Totally. And I created the results to prove it. And it was just really fun to see the fruits of making a decision, committing to it and taking action. And I think like what you speak about, like attracts like, me yeah, doing that totally created space for other people to do that too with my programs. A hundred percent. And the way that I always see investments, people think about them as expenses. And when I moved into this office right here, I was, I was in my own room, like with my bed and my office in the same room. And I was like, I really want some more space. And then this room opened up like here in my house. And I remember thinking about it as not as I'm more expenses, like, oh, it's another expense. But for me, it's an expansion. And when mm -hmm. I relate to investments in that way, literally more money comes, more things happen. And it sounds like that was for you. you that's what you did. You were committed, you were decisive, and then people around you were committed and decisive in return. So 
It's dope. Yeah. So good. I love that. It definitely felt like an expansion. Yeah. Hundred percent. Cool. What was the second thing that you got that really surprised you as you were inside of the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind? We started doing the work and all the things. And so what was the second thing that is different than what you were doing before? Yeah. So you coached me on, so I decided I was going to take time out of my business, being pregnant in my first trimester, being super sick. Yeah. And I'd already taken time off. I'd already crushed my launch. And it was really, I was reaching that resistance point. And you coached me on like our unseen guides and trusting yeah. that we are supported and that we are held. And it's fun because I'd kind of been introduced to manifestation very recently. And like I said to you, it's like I was the opposite person. <laughs> I love logic. I love strategy. I love formulas. I've got a mathematical, economical, physics brain. Um, that's how I've always been. And the coaching that you gave me and, and you really sat with me in it as well right? Like it was like, you really sat with me in it as my brain was like computing the possibility, yes. <laughs> um, which was like not where I started with this program. Right. Definitely not where I started this year. And just really believing that it's possible that I could trust these mm. unseen guides, these unseen angels. And I really, I remember like lying in bed, like specifically thinking about them, connecting with them, mm. like literally not doing anything right I was in bed a lot we, we said I was in bed for 15 hours a day there was a few weeks when I was in bed for 24 hours a day <laughs> <laughs> and what was amazing was I, I did create clients for my program mm -hmm. in that time like I literally woke up one morning and someone had joined my program and it wasn't even someone that had been on my list for like a year or even three months so it just felt really good to see it come into action and to feel held and supported and connect like I think that's one of the amazing things that I love about this program is yes there's coaching and yes there's copy editing which is amazing and we've spoken about that I'm happy to go into that as well there's also work around like energetic stuff and you give like um meditations and like all of that stuff it's kind of like really gathering a connection with the universe and with ourselves and with these different things at play in like a really fun playful way when yeah. it can be really easy to take business so seriously and be like very proper especially if you come from a corporate background like me right yeah we have a lot of fun while doing while making a lot of money like that's just all that I'm available for <laughs> I am not available for like suffering through it because I did so much of that that like it just got me to a point where I'm like, well, this is not how I want to be an entrepreneur. And so we do a lot of the, like, how can we make it easier? How can we make it way more fun? So I love that that was a huge win for you. And so tell us a little bit about the copy coaching. So that maybe was one of the, the next shifts I think that we listed out. So tell us a little bit about something that shifted in your copy or even just in the way you think about consistency, because you said, oh my God, I thought that I had to be consistent all the time, but actually not true because look at what just happened. So tell us a little bit yes. about the practicality of, yes, we work with energy, but then what is what surprised you about the program from the copy perspective as well? Yeah, so Palmies is like amazing. And I think the availability to get feedback on copy yeah. is phenomenal. And I'm someone who like really like goes all in which was great because then I took lots of time off and I was able to sit with it. Um, so getting the feedback consistently, I'll use the word consistent there, but regularly allows your brain to not just work hard with copy, but changes the way you think about it. Like there's just certain shifts that I've noticed in my copy where I'm thinking about the client or I'm thinking about minute to minute manifestations or I'm thinking about how to speak to like specifically one person that it's changed my thinking mm -hmm. so it's not that I'm like writing copy following the formula even though you do teach us that it's that it's changed how I think about copy and I'm really thinking about my other people cool. and yeah and one of the things that I shared with you was what was so fun is like I took three weeks out of my social media like not posting anything no emails going out no podcasts to my people <laughs> And, you know, a lot of the story out there is like, then the algorithm is going to hate you and you're never going to, you know, totally. you're, gonna you're dead, you're out. dead. You have to rebuild your whole brand <laughs> over. It's done. Game over. 
And I a little bit believed it and was okay with it. And it was still worth taking the time off. But what happened was when I came back, I literally wrote copy in bed on my phone, like a few pieces and posted them and got the most attention that I've had in the, in, in the last two years in my business. Like I think one of them had like 250 likes. And I was like, what? I just created that from bed. Like, it wasn't hard. I wasn't, tr- like, I wasn't trying to go viral. I was just sharing what I felt and doing it in a way of, like, I think what I'd done before that you've helped me with is I'm very, like, direct with my audience. I'm like, right. this, 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 and this, 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 and this is how you can do better. And I'm very, and you really got me into thinking about, like, the empathy and understanding them and loving them and obviously also treating myself that way isn't a huge thing yeah um and then add that with palm users like simple edits and just ways to reframe things and ways to focus things and ways to deliver the content in a way that is most user friendly for the person reading it and the combination of that is just like I really find writing copy very easy now I'm like okay oh my god (laughs) So had you ever felt like this, like, had you ever experienced this kind of support before in any, or do you, do you even know that this kind of support was available in terms of like a marketing mastermind? Yeah, I mean, I definitely have, I've been so lucky from when I launched, I invested big. That's another lesson for everyone. Like I came out the gate investing big and I achieved huge results, not just because I invested big, but I really sought out support and I, and the best support and I've received it. What I would say was different is, like I say, the I think really the alternative things and getting exposure to that has been really fun. And getting, I mean, just the idea that you can, I remember messaging a friend who'd done your mastermind before and being like, you, you can share copy like as often as you want and get feedback on it. Like, what? It's mind blowing, really. Like, really, I would say to anyone that's thinking of joining or joining, like, the resources are really there. There is as much support as you need. You are not going to go for a day thinking like having questions and answered for yourself. And I think that's amazing. Like I said, if you take it not as like, let me get them to edit it because then they'll make it better. But what is their thinking behind how they're editing it? And that is what you both teach. It's not, you know, um, come to me and I'll make it better. And then you're reliant on me. It's like, here's why. 100% love it in terms of like the copy feedback and how quickly you are able to implement it and accelerate and improve there's nothing like it in the marketplace so good awesome awesome so then you went on to decide that you wanted to have a couple of one-on-one clients and what happened tell me the story about you making the decision no marketing yet what happened yes I would say (laughs) Yeah, I just decided like, I actually do have capacity for maybe two one-on-one clients and I'm open to it, but I don't really want to market it. I like that my audience just has two ways to work with me. Yeah, P- yeah, really simple, really lean. Um, but yeah, I just decided like, maybe I would be open to it. And like, I've already had two people reach out to me about it. It just feels like it's done. Like I don't need to, again, like the the invisible guides come to play again and they're like we've got you like I don't need to do anything for it I don't need to push anything or force anything people are watching and not afraid to ask for it if that's what they want you just have to like let them ask for it and I feel like really good about that whereas probably before for a while once I decided like no more one-to-ones I was probably like I hope no one asks me because I did turn around about turn down around 100k of one-to-one clients when I first closed it And then I was very like, I can't have one-to-one clients. Right. And literally just the thought that like, I'm open to it for like the right people. And that really is that simple. Nothing changed in my actions. Nothing. It's just your intention. And this is what I teach so much inside Magnetize and Monetize, that we just get to be super clear with our intention and how we want to feel what we desire and then we just get to let it be easy and then have our angels and guides just bring people home. And so I just so love that you went from being super analytic and being really like A, B, C, D, E, because I'm like that. Like I come from a, the same background. Like if you had asked me about intention and letting things be easy, I'd be like, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean like meditating on a pillow? No, we gotta go. We gotta go take action, make it happen. And so I think you and I are so similar in that sense that we have gone through that. We're very structured, strategic, intentional in our actions. And now our growth edge has been to relax and know that we don't have to do all the hard work. Like we don't even have to do all the work ourselves. And I attract a lot of people who are in that same kind of feeling of like, wait, can it be actually easier? And so because I'm really practical, I attract the practical people. (laughs) So I'm so happy. I'm so happy that for you, it's been a breakthrough and that it's been super helpful. Yeah. And like I say, for me, it's also been like introducing play and funness and connecting with that inner child. So I'm not like, now we are seriously working. I'm like, we have fun together in growing this business. So important. Okay. And so anything else that you would like to say, anything that comes up for you, you can think about it because this has been recorded, but anything else that you would like to say that maybe can support somebody who's on the fence or just anything that you want to share from the heart? Yeah. So there is one other thing I want to share, which is I started this call saying I'm a feminist time coach, but I didn't come into your program having that branding or fully owning it. And it's such a simple thing. Like it seems like such a little thing, but it really is huge. Like owning the brand that you want to have, deciding Mm -hmm. the voice that you want to have. Like you could speak to, you could read any of my work and see that I was a feminist time coach, but I really didn't own it. And I think it's just created so much clarity. Like you speak around clarity. And I think this came, this is a result of allowing myself to experience clarity, self-trust, like all of these things. And I know it seems like a little shift now, but I'm sure it's going to completely transform my business and make things easier and easier. So what I would say to anyone thinking about joining is firstly, I would say join early because I joined early and then got access to everything. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, I think it's like a really powerful way to hit the ground running, consume the content and then come start ready to go. Um, and I would say like, you know where you are going to be in three months if you keep doing what you are doing right now. Mm-hmm. And I really invite you to consider the possibility of where you could be if you are willing to do something different and just veer off like you're going straight and there's like this road to the right like take it like just be willing to take it and trust like I wanted to say the magic but maybe that's too woo for people because that might have turned (laughs) me off before I'm completely I've gone too far the other way um but be willing to trust yourself I think the most important thing when deciding to invest in a mastermind is really trusting the coach. So if you Mm. love Juliana's work, you relate to everything she speaks about, then be willing to trust her. Mm. And in the process, you'll grow the trust with yourself as well. Because like, I think when I first thought about joining, I probably was just thinking about, or even this year when I thought about my business, I was just thinking about money. Mm. But what I've created is actually a foundation of way more pleasure, way more enjoyment, Mm. way more Mm. self-trust. Like even the ease of writing content now and having fun with it and con- I feel connected to my audience like mm. I feel like I'm not creating content to sell I'm creating content to give mm. and just those kind of things that I wouldn't have known before and you might not have the same ones but you'll have just as equally beneficial ones so it's not just about what can I create in the three months? It's like, what's the foundation you want to create in your business? What's the relationship you want to have with yourself throughout business? And what's the relationship you want to have with your community? Oh, that was so good. So good. (laughs) And I love, can we just have one last thing around joining early? Because people really wait until the last minute. Like majority of people wait until the last minute to join. And the beautiful thing about Magnetize and Monetize is that you get to join earlier so that you can really let the content sink into your bones and really just get all the juice out of the orange really like instead of thinking about getting three months of coaching when with the coaching starts join two months early so that you have five months of coaching so tell us a little bit about how that was for you when you join yeah. like why do you think that is better to join early yeah I mean obviously I'm like a time hacker right I'm right. like this, the moment you know you want to do anything the time cost between you not taking action It's like the cost of not getting the information, the cost of not having the support, the cost of not being in a decided state, which definitely raises your confidence. 
Um, and like I say, literally like the energy around you is different. You feel committed. Yeah. It's like, I, I, the way I see it is like riding a bicycle, right? You can like feel committed and then take action that's committed and both of them together accelerate you the fastest. Wow. So I would just think about like, what's the best thing you can give for yourself? It's to get started. It's to not sit in two months of indecision of should I, shouldn't I, which is going to have a different effect. It's going to have the effect of doubting yourself, highs and lows and inconsistent emotions versus committing, going all in on yourself. Like the best moment is after a decision is made. Oh, the indecision yeah. period is is bullshit. Holy. I don't know if I can swear, but... Yeah, no, I realize <laughs> this is all allowed. <laughs> so yeah, the indecision period. Think about how terrible you feel in indecision. Like it's very disempowering. You're disengaged. You're doubting yourself. You're letting that doubt speak over and over. Once you are in a decided place, you are feeling empowered. You're feeling strong. You're feeling capable. You're feeling all in that you want to get there as soon as possible. So if you're thinking about it, get there, give yourself that gift. Totally. Oh my God. Thank you so much for saying that, for being here, <laughs> just for being such a dream client too. You're just like, you got all the juice you needed, got what you came for and more. And it's just such an honor to be in your corner. So thank you so much for trusting me. And I'm just so happy that you got everything that you desired. So thank you so much. There was one more thing. One more, one more, one more, one more thing. Uh, the, I think it's just really important to say, we touched on how I took a few weeks out. And I think a lot of people might be thinking like, oh, I've got this event and I'm going to take three weeks out or I've got this coming up or whatever it might be. I've got this vacation. I'm going to miss a few weeks of the mastermind. I shouldn't do it. Right. And I just think it's like, it's bullshit. Like it doesn't matter. Your results are not dependent on you being a hundred percent there every single day. Like you really can take a few things from this mastermind and really focus on them and embody them and create shift and don't let that stop you. There's always a reason to wait. There's always something that's going to happen in life. I didn't know I was pregnant when I signed up. Um, but maybe I would have been like, oh, let me not do it. I don't know. But I would have lost out. So mm -hmm. don't let the idea that you maybe won't have perfect attendance for the whole program mm -hmm. keep you from investing. Yeah. And something that I teach inside the mastermind is that I don't require you to be a great student. You don't need to be an A plus student because we're not, <clears throat> we are not here to be students as entrepreneurs. We are here to be entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs apply. You don't have to do the homework and pass it out to be, to see if you can get an A plus. I'm not, you're not required to be a student in my programs, just an apply, apply what you're learning. And you don't even have to apply everything. Just take a couple of the things that you learn. Like a lot of my clients in Momentum haven't even gone through 50% of the modules <laughs> and they have yeah. million dollar businesses and they're like, oh yeah, I'll take that module when I'm ready, when I need it right now, I'm, I'm implementing this. And so there's so much goodness that you don't actually need all of it at the same time. So I love that. So good. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here, Vicky. I love you so, so much. You're amazing. And let everyone else who just maybe still here and they forgot who you are, what you do, one more time, where can they find you? Um, I'm on Instagram at Feminist Time Coach. I, am at, I have a website, VickyLouise.com. There's like a freebie on how to stop wasting time. Yes. And I have a podcast called Hack Your Time. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. You're the best. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.